guys, I'm on my way to PetSmart. I've got to get, um, well, I'm going to see if they have a, one of those like soft cones to go around uh, Magnum's necks because he's getting neutered this Friday, the 20th. So I'm on my way to look for that. And um, I also am going to look for the stop that spray. Um, I have a video down below of how it helps with barking because Magnum, he's the typical schnauzer. He barks at everything. So <laughs> it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to go look and see what they have. Uh, maybe something else besides the spray. I've been looking online and I see these like things for outside. These things that look like birdhouses. And... It sends out like a electronic noise or a sick, like a noise that only dogs can hear. So when they bark, it stops them from barking. Have any of you ever tried one of those? Let me know if you have. I don't know if they'll have them at PetSmart or not. They've had them at uh, they have them on Amazon. I'm thinking about getting that because he's just terrible outside. Bark, 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 bark. Um, and I'm sure if I'm annoyed by it, my neighbors are annoyed by it. So, I'm on my way to look for those couple things. And maybe some other stuff too, if I find anything else to pick up. So, I'll be back, guys. Okay, I'm back home. Um, I did not get the um, inflatable collar. That's what it was. It's an inflatable collar instead of those plastic e-collars um, when they have surgery because it would have been $44. And I was like, no, I'm not paying $44 for that for probably two days of wearing it. But I did get, I wanted to share with you guys this I got. Oh, I had to get Marley a new uh, little clip thing for his name tag, his broke. And then I bought this. Now the box is beat up. So this makes me wonder if this is, was a return or if it's just been on the shelf a long time. But I've been researching these. It's called the um, Sonic Egg. It's a bark deterrent because this one, Magnum, that one right there is the typical barky schnauzer. And he gets all the other dogs who didn't bark as, as at, I mean, they barked, but not at, as much as this one, <laughs> they're barking like crazy. So, it's for indoors and outdoors, harmless and pet friendly. So, let me show you this here so you can read it. Helps keep peace in your neighborhood. Cause that's what we need right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to sit this on my deck because Magnum just sits out there and barks at a bird making a noise. I mean, he is the barkiest dog I've ever known. <laughs> so I got some batteries. Went to Big Lots and got some, uh, I think it said it takes a 9 volt. I hope I was right because I didn't look. Let's see here. Um, yes, here we go. Takes a 9 volt battery. So, three adjustable levels of sensitivity. Works up to 50 feet away. So, we're going to try this out. And then I bought this, um, and this was... Oh, let me get the receipt. I think it was $39.99. Where did I put the receipt? Oh, Lord. I better go. Hold on, guys. I got to make sure I have that in case this don't work. Oh, wait. It's right here. <laughs> okay, this was, the big one was $39.99. And then this little handheld one was $19.99. I thought this might work on our walks and um, in the house. Um when they're barking at everybody walking by. So I'm gonna go set this up. Um, I probably won't know right today if it's working or not, but I'm gonna get it out of the box and show you guys where I'm gonna put it. Okay, dogs are eating, so I'm going to open this up. 
hopefully you guys can see it. Let me get a knife so I can cut the tape. Yeah, I'm wondering if this was a return. We shall see. Yeah, this box is tore up. <laughs> this box is tore up. Okay. So let's get this thing out. And let's... Does it even have the battery cover? Oh, here it is. Okay. Whew. Let's see, man. I got to take it back and I can't even try it out. Okay. Let's get a battery out. Okay, which way does this go? Okay, let's see here. I haven't used a 9 volt in a while. My husband usually changes the... Uh, Smoke detectors. Okay, I think this is the way. Boy, this thing's odd. I can tell you right now, this thing's odd shaped to hang on to. <laughs> okay. Oh, it lights up. Okay, I'm going to put it on medium. And it looks like it has a... It has this, so if I guess if I wanted to... um it on the tree or something or I could hang it on the deck I can hang it like this so I'm gonna keep it in the house for a little bit and um, see I'm gonna sit it on my coffee table and we're gonna see if it helps like when people are walking by see what happens okay change my mind I'm gonna take it outside <laughs> Since we're all going outside right now. Okay. Put it on high instead of medium. I should have read the directions. I'm bad. I'm just like my husband. I don't read the directions. And the dogs really are curious of what this is. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it's going to stop you guys from barking. Okay. I was thinking because over here... It's where the neighbor's dog always is, and they're always barking. So, oh boy, the box elder bugs are back out. Great. Um, I was thinking about hanging it somewhere on my deck to point in that direction. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to get a nail. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. I hung it up right here, hung a hook there, and I got it hung there to face that way throughout the yard. Now it's really windy today, so I don't know if the microphone on there is going to pick up barking noises or not. So we shall see. And if you guys noticed, I had to get some lattice that we still need to um, connect to the deck because Magnum kept running under there from the other boys playing and thought it was fun to get under there in the dirt. So. We have that piece connected securely, but we still got to get this piece and the piece on the side connected uh, securely. And then I bought too much, so I put the rest back here by the fence here where it's completely... I kind of angled it um, like this um, and put a couple stakes in because they've worn that down to mud and I'm sick of them being in the mud. So I know it don't look pretty. But, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So, I'll have to let you guys know later on today if I notice a difference. And then, um, I figure I'll give it a week and see. And if it don't work, I'm taking it back. Okay. I'm trying to catch them barking. Okay, hold on. Kids are outside up next door. Let's see if they bark. These two are running. They can hear the noise. 
These two don't like the noise. But Magnum continues to bark. Those two are trying to hide. Mozzie and Miggy. Hope you can hear this because of the wind. But those two are trying to hide. To where he just kept barking. He stopped though. Nope, it's not stopping him. I'm going to turn it up higher. So the other two could hear it. I could tell because they were hiding. But Magnum continued to bark. I have it on higher now. He heard that when Miggy barked. His ears went down. <laughs> okay guys, I'm inside now. So um, I just rewatched that last part of the video um, that I just shot outside um, where the dogs were barking. Oh, this pillow is up here. I don't know why. Somebody must have been sitting there. Um, I noticed at, when Magnum was barking, he didn't bark as long as he did. And it was catching his attention. And then also I noticed in the video that he walked towards um, where the sonic egg was hanging. So he knew where that noise was coming from. And he went towards it and stopped barking. So... Um, it did help him start, he, he barked, but he didn't stop barking as quick as the other four dogs did. Miggy and Mozzie are really sensitive to it, and they went right up on the porch and wanted to go in the house because <laughs> Magnum kept barking. But I did notice in watching that video back, he did stop, though. It got his attention. So um, I turned that off and got the, um, oh, here, let me move it into this hand. I went and got the handheld uh, Sonic egg and the neighbor kids were still outside. So I kind of, this one reaches up to, it has a 15 foot range. So I kind of stayed within a 15 foot range and every time he'd bark, I'd push this button and say no. Um, and he'd stop, he stopped quicker with this one than he did with the one hanging on my porch. Um, so I just kind of followed him around. It took about five times. Um, and he stopped barking. He kind of just, I mean, he was listening to the kids next door, um, but he stopped. And then about 10 minutes later, he barked again. I pushed the button again. He stopped. So it is helping. So it's kind of like that stop that spray, um, that I've shared on here before. And I'll link that video below if you're interested. You got to be consistent. You have to do it right when the behavior starts. Or it's not going to work. I can tell you that. Um, just that, just with the other, uh, the spray. So this is working. So I'm very impressed so far. Now I haven't tried it like when they all get on the couch and they're barking at someone walking their dog by or just the neighbors coming home or if someone comes to our house. I have not tried that yet. Um, but so far I'm happy with what's going on outside because, and I'm sure my neighbors are happy. <laughs> Because could you imagine five schnauzers all barking at the same time? <laughs> oh, and then my neighbor's dog came out too. The one that they constantly run along that fence line and bark like mad. I think that dog could hear it too, even through the fence. Because it did not stick around the fence line like it usually does. So I think it took off from the noise too. So that may help too. <laughs> so anyways, so far so good with the sunbeam egg and then the little handheld one so i'll link these two things down below if you want to research them uh for yourself so talk to you guys in the next video bye i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you 
You want me to get you? Do you want me to get you? Do you want me to get you? <laughs> you want me to get you again? Do you want me to get you? I can get you. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. You need a haircut. Yes, you do. You need a haircut. Yes, you do.